got a nice little ACC matchup with Georgia Tech. Probably should be 4-0 after they dominated most of the game on Labor Day night uh, in Atlanta against Tennessee, but let that thing slip away in overtime, taking on a Miami team that continues to take the steps up in caliber of play and continue to meet the challenge. It was Duke a couple weeks ago in a resounding win, and then it was Malik Rocher in a game that uh, he was tested as a leader, as a guy that needed to make plays and make throws in the clutch, and he got it done against Florida State with a last-minute victory, Brad. Yeah, you know, Mark Rick said this week that um, he was asked if if the U is back yet, and he said the U won't be back until they have um, sustainable depth. Uh, Mark Walton is now pretty much lost for the season. He was Miami's leading rusher, really the guy who – um, provided leadership on that offense, a bunch of young guys there. So it'll be interesting to see Saturday, you know, who kind of steps up in that new featured running back role for the Canes. Um, obviously going against Georgia Tech is no easy task for any team, no matter the athletes you have on defense. You know, that that triple option pretty much neutralizes the the talent differential in that ball game. It's a reason Vegas has it as a six-and-a-half-point game. So um, I think it'll be a very, very, very good football game. Um, certainly one Miami needs to win if they want to win the ACC and, you know, stay in that stay in that top 15 range. So uh, Malik Rozier will, will have to bring his A game, you know, not not turn it over. And, of course, Georgia Tech is is going to try to limit possessions. You know, you, you play the Yellow Jackets, you may get five possessions a half, and you, you have to make good on those drives.